Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain, and I'm using Scale 4, or Shortcuts a lot for, uh, the latest version, which is 4.008, I believe. Um, they've done a couple of bug fixes, so the numbers have gone up slightly. Now, what I wanted to do was to show you a feature which, as far as I'm aware, wasn't in version 3 and people have been asking about, and it's this stencil bridge. Uh, a useful function. Uh, if you like doing stencils, you're going to really love this one. Uh, it's very, very simple to use. Now I'm going to take a normal bulky font, but it's not a stencil font. And I'm just going to click. Uh, let me see what I've got. An O, and a Q, and an o. there we go. And I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, nothing like being able to see things properly. Now, as you can see, nice bulky font it is, but it is not suitable for a stencil because if you were to cut this out, you'd lose all the middle detail. So you just have the outer shape and you'd lose that middle ring that makes it a proper letter. It's as simple as that. Now, you can use any font you like, pretty much, I think, to do this. And it's very, very simple. You click on the stencil bridge and up here you get a stencil bridge size and you can go up and down and change the size of it to your particular taste or indeed to suit the size of the text that you're doing. This is quite big text. And all you do is you click and drag and you put the bridge where you want it. And in a second it will cut it out. There we go. So that will cut out and make that a proper stencil letter. It takes a few seconds to work it out but you know nothing too drastic. I'll put one here. So basically what it's doing is it's constraining. It's like an eraser but it's constraining the laser. That, 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 that. Can't get my tongue out of a knot tonight. It's constraining the eraser to a set size or at least a set width. You can make it as long as you like but the width is constrained. Um, do another one here doesn't matter how long or how short you do it, as long as it goes through the outer line. There we go. Don't need one on the end. Don't need one on there. But we could definitely do the one on the B. And so put one there. And I'm going to put another one. Come on. That one didn't quite work, did it? Probably because I was impatient it was still doing that one. So let's go back a minute. See if I can go back. Go undo. There we go, it's undone. And go back to my stencil bridge and do it properly. And wait for a second. There we go. So you now can see that you can actually use this as a proper stencil. Okay, um, you can do it with thick fonts, you can do it with thin fonts. If I show you a thin one, whoops, gone past the one that I was thinking of looking for. Isn't that simply glamorous? I think it is. Which is called a thin one. Uh, ah, here we go, simply glamorous. And pick a letter, we'll go for a D. Okay, gonna make that a lot bigger because you won't be able to see it properly. As you can see, it has a nice double line on it. Go to the stencil bridge and put one in there. Oh, I'm gonna put one in there as well. And as you can see, it is now going to be, gonna put one in there. It is now going to be a proper stencil and you can use it as such. So that will give you, if you're anything like me, you have hundreds of fonts. It will give you a lot more choice if you want to do any stenciling. And I have to confess, I like using stencils to do things like greetings, where you've got happy birthday or best wishes or something like that. It's quite nice to have a stencil of that and it's very quick. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it useful. Bye bye.